Ever wondered what makes you tick? The human brain is a remarkable organ, weighing roughly three pounds, yet controlling every aspect of our existence, from thoughts and emotions to memories and physical actions. Despite its small size, it consumes about 20% of our body's energy, making it a powerhouse of activity and complexity. Let's delve into the brain structure, its functions, and the science behind how it governs emotions, memory, and thoughts. Let's start with the structure of the brain. First up, the forebrain, or prosencephalon. The forebrain is divided into two major parts, the cerebrum and the diencephalon. Cerebrum is the largest part of your brain, split into left and right hemispheres. Imagine it as the control center. The frontal lobe is where decision-making, problem-solving, and voluntary movements happen. The parietal lobe handles touch, temperature, and pain, while also helping you navigate spaces. The temporal lobe is your hub for hearing, language comprehension, and memories. And finally, the occipital lobe is all about processing vision. The second part of the forebrain, the diencephalon, consists of four parts, the thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, and subthalamus. The thalamus serves as a relay center for sensory, except smell, and motor signals, controls consciousness, alertness, and attention. The hypothalamus maintains homeostasis, regulates autonomic functions, the endocrine system, hunger, thirst, temperature, emotions, and circadian rhythms. The epithalamus regulates sleep-wake cycles via melatonin secretion and processes emotional reward signals. The subthalamus is involved in motor control and movement regulation through connections with the basal ganglia. Next, the midbrain or mesencephalon. Located beneath the forebrain, this part acts like a relay station. It coordinates sensory info like vision and hearing and keeps your motor control and alertness in check. Lastly, we have the hindbrain or rhombencephalon. It consists of three parts, pons, cerebellum, and medulla. Pons is located above the medulla and below the midbrain. It relays signals between the cerebrum, cerebellum, and spinal cord, regulates breathing, sleep, and facial sensations and movements. Cerebellum is located posterior to the pons and medulla, beneath the occipital lobes of the cerebrum. It coordinates voluntary movements, maintains posture and balance, and fine-tunes motor activities. Medulla oblongata, the most inferior part of the brainstem, continuous with the spinal cord below and the pons above. It controls autonomic functions like breathing, heart rate, blood pressure, and reflexes such as swallowing and coughing. So what is the brainstem then? The brainstem is the lower part of the brain that connects the cerebrum to the spinal cord. It consists of three parts, the midbrain, pons, and medulla oblongata. It plays a crucial role in basic life-sustaining functions, motor control, and sensory processing. How the brain works. Neurons are the basic functional units of the nervous system. The brain is made up of approximately 86 billion neurons, which are specialized cells that transmit information. Each neuron communicates with others via electrical impulses and chemical signals. Dendrites of a neuron receive signals from other neurons or sensory receptors. Axons of a neuron send signals to other neurons or muscles. Synapses are the junctions where neurons communicate with other neurons, muscle cells, or glands. How do neurotransmitters affect things? Dopamine is associated with pleasure, motivation, and reward. Serotonin regulates mood, appetite, and sleep. Acetylcholine facilitates learning and memory. 
GABA acts as a calming neurotransmitter to reduce anxiety. How does the brain control emotions, memories, and thoughts? First up, emotions. They are controlled by brain's limbic system. The limbic system is a complex network responsible for emotions, behavior, and long-term memory. It includes the amygdala, which processes emotions such as fear and pleasure, the hippocampus, which converts short-term memories into long-term storage, the hypothalamus, which regulates emotional responses and physiological processes such as hunger, thirst, temperature. How emotions work. When you experience a situation, sensory information is processed by the thalamus and sent to the amygdala. If the event triggers an emotional response, like danger, the amygdala activates the hypothalamus to prepare the body for action, like fight or flight. Next, memory. Memory can be classified based on duration and function. First, short-term memory, STM which lasts from a few seconds to a minute. It temporarily stores information for immediate use. It acts as a buffer for information to be transferred to long-term memory. It relies on reverberating neural circuits in the brain, mainly in the prefrontal cortex. Second, intermediate or recent memory, which lasts from a few minutes to several hours. It contains information that has not yet been consolidated into long-term memory. It bridges the gap between short-term and long-term memory. It involves changes in synaptic strength, including early stages of long-term potentiation in the hippocampus and surrounding structures. Third, long-term memory, LTM, which lasts from hours to a lifetime. It stores vast amounts of information, including experiences, knowledge, and skills. Information is acquired consciously, explicit memory, or unconsciously, implicit memory. Consolidation involves structural changes in neurons, such as new synapse formation and protein synthesis, primarily in the hippocampus and distributed cortical areas. Therefore, Long-term memory is stored in the hippocampus and distributed across the cerebral cortex for long-term recall. Next, thoughts, the brain's cognitive machinery. Thinking is a high-order cognitive function that involves the interaction of various brain regions. The prefrontal cortex is important for abstract thinking, decision-making, and problem-solving. The default mode network, DMN, is a network of brain regions active during introspection or daydreaming. Neural plasticity is the brain's ability to rewire itself based on experience, learning, or injury. Conscious thinking is controlled and deliberate, such as solving a math problem. Subconscious thinking is automatic processes such as recognizing faces or understanding language. How important is sleep for brain function? One, memory consolidation. Sleep strengthens neural connections formed during the day. Two, detoxification. The glymphatic system clears metabolic waste from the brain during sleep. Three, emotional regulation. Deep sleep, IREM, helps process emotions and reduce stress. Lastly, some interesting facts about the brain. The brain's energy demands are immense because of its constant activity, even during rest. Despite its high energy usage, the brain has no pain receptors, so you can't feel pain directly in the brain. The brain generates about 20 watts of power, enough to light a small LED bulb. Neurons can fire signals at speeds of up to 268 miles per hour. The brain processes 70,000 thoughts per day on average. So there you have it. The brain is a complex, incredible organ that keeps you functioning every day. Your brain is a universe within itself. Explore it 
nurture it, and unlock its full potential. Keep exploring, keep learning. See you next time.